Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get started with our yoga practice. Once I step back, um, you see mostly just the silhouette of my body. So uh, that's great for showing the shapes, but you won't see my face so much. And I wanted to just check it. While we're here, you are welcome to make any modifications that you would like. Um, if a uh, posture would feel a little bit better if you went deeper into it, or maybe if you kept your hips higher and didn't put as much pressure into your knees, or if we are on our feet and you prefer to be down on your knees or seated, make this your own. Uh, challenge is great. We're never looking for pain though. As we move through the practice, we are going to begin standing and then work our way down to the mat. So see if you can stay with me, especially for the ending when we we'll go into Savasana or a seated resting posture so that you can get the full benefits of the practice. All right, let's begin. Go ahead, beginning at the top of your mat. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. And exhale out. Relaxing your head, maybe moving it from side to side. Rolling through your wrists. Bending into one knee, then the other. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up to the sky. And holding on to one wrist, pull the body to the first side. Nice exhale here there. Inhale back up, change which wrist you're holding. And exhale over to the second side. Inhale back up. And exhale, little gentle back bend. We're going to bring the arms down like goal posts and start to pull our elbows together, pull our shoulder blades together. Good. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, down to heart center. We're going to do the same thing again. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, over to one side. Inhale to the top. Exhale over to the second side. Inhale up. Exhale, opening up the arms like goalposts, pulling your shoulder blades together, opening up through the heart, opening up through the chest. Inhale, hands back up. Exhale, hands together down to heart center. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, hands up. Holding the wrist, exhale over to the first side. Inhale and up, change which hand you're holding. Exhale over to the second side. Inhale and up. Exhale, big, nice standing back bend here, opening up through the arms, baby back bend, pulling that back. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Bring your big toes together and let your arms relax. Shake that out. Good. Inhale, hands up. First leg lifts. And you want to imagine like you're stepping up onto a box. So the bottom of your foot is really nice and straight. Flexing the toes upward. Hands come up, reaching towards the sky. The bottom of your foot that's rooted into the mat is pulling downward as the rest of your body is pulling upward. Inhale here. Exhale, take one step back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, push your hips directly back. Try to keep those hips squared here. And you're going to roll forward and down. This is called pyramid pose. Hands can rest on the leg. There's no pressure to touch the floor. And if you're comfortable, you're going to relax the head down. So both heels are down to the mat, all four corners of your feet. Inhale, exhale, relax your head again. Inhale. Exhale, this is really fun here. You're gonna bend the front knee, hands come down to the mat, walk your hands forward. Front foot steps back, you know, you're in a high plank. So in a high plank, you want your body in a long, beautiful line. You are always welcome to lower the knees down every time we come here. And when you lower the knees down, you're still gonna keep the hips in a nice line so that the body is nice and straight. Inhale here, exhale, bend at the elbows, lower all the way down. 
Inhale, relax your feet. And start to raise your shoulders, raise your chest, raise your hands, baby cobra. Exhale, hands down. Let's do that again. Inhale, raise the hands. Raise your shoulders, raise your heart. Exhale and down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands down, push into the mat through your hands, push your knees down into the mat, pull the hips back, resting over relaxed feet, a version of child's pose. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, curl your toes. Inhale, pull your hips to the sky. Exhale, first downward facing dog of the day. Look back towards your feet or your knees. Bend into one knee, then the other here. A lot of energy through your hands still, especially in your pointer finger, especially in your thumb. Giving you all of that control. See if you can relax your head. Maybe that pulls your shoulders away from your ears a bit. And taking all the time you'd like, walk your feet all the way to your hands. Inhale, roll up to stand. Exhale at the top. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, hands up. Hold the wrist, exhale over to the first side. This time I want you to really push your hips in the opposite direction. Inhale and up, change hands. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, baby back bend. Go ahead, open up those goalpost arms, press your heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another. Inhale up. Exhale, hands together, heart center. Second leg, inhale, leg up. Exhale here, beautiful. Inhale, hold. Exhale. Inhale, hands to the sky. Remember, pulling in opposite directions. Exhale, let's start to pull the navel in or your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale. Exhale, one easy step back. Square the hips forward, inhale, look forward. Exhale, hips back, rolling down into your pyramid pose. Hands can rest on the leg, head relaxes, eyes stay open here. If it feels good to reach, you could even bring your fingertips down to the mat. Inhale, pull that back hip forward just a bit, re-squaring the hips. Exhale, relax your shoulders, relax your head again. Inhale. Exhale, bend the front knee, walk your fingertips forward, find that control, big step back. High plank on the toes or on the knees, and exhale, lower all the way down. Every time we come here, you have the option to move into baby cobra. You can keep hands on the mat. You could have them lifted like we did before. The second option here will be to push through your hands and find some length through the front of your body, only if it feels good for your back. The final option here will be to press the top of your feet into your mat so that the legs lift. We'll call this yogi's choice. And then we'll all join a downward facing dog. So remember those three options every time we come there. Hands or hands hovering, baby cobra. A modification of upward facing dog with the stomach rested or that full upward facing dog resting on the hands and top of the feet. From downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, walk two feet all the way to your hand. A little bit different this time, inhale to a halfway lift. That means legs straighten. And now just bringing the back in line to make 90 degrees or square hips. Place your hands on your shins and push the body away. Exhale, forward fold, relax your head down, reach your fingertips towards your toes if you touch, great. If not, you're almost there. And inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Hands to the sky. Grab one wrist. Exhale, big bend. Good, inhale, back up. Exhale, second side. 
Inhale, back up. Exhale, little back bend. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands together. First leg again. Inhale, foot up. Remember, like you're stepping onto a box, toes flexed. Exhale, place the same hand as that lifted leg right onto the knee. Inhale, opening up that leg to the side, opposite arm to the sky, or up to your side for a little more support with balance. Inhale, see if you can keep your hips facing forward. Beautiful. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, foot comes back to the front. Keep it lifted, two hands to the sky. Good. For a little more intensity here, you can even extend your leg out. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, drop your shoulders away from your ears if they're rising up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee. Little step back and then a deeper step back. Beautiful. This is crescent lunge. Re really push into both feet here, finding a lot of control. Inhale. Exhale, good. Go ahead again, pull the navel in, square the hips, inhale. Exhale, stomach comes down to the thighs, hands to the mat, step back, high plank, toes or knees, inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga and dasana, lower all the way down. Inhale, option one, two, or three, yogi's choice. Exhale, let's join in downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, two feet all the way to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up. Hands to the sky. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Inhale, second leg, knee up, exhale. Inhale, same hand as the lifted leg to the knee. Exhale. Inhale, open that out to the side, opposite arm raises up to the sky. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring that leg forward. Release the hand. Option to stay with the bent knee or extend that leg fully forward. Two more breaths here. Tuning in to that sensation through your body. If you're shaking good, if you're sweating, even better. Exhale, bend the knee, step back. And one more time. Deep bend in the front knee. Finding that crescent lunge. Back heel is lifted. In every posture that we move into, you are always welcome to make adjustments. You can see I'm wiggling my feet a little bit, saying, okay, what feels really good for my hips? What feels natural here? Once you become comfortable in a posture, that's when you really can tune into the breath and let your body sink into the pose. Exhale, stomach to thigh, hands down, big step back, high plank to low. Inhale, yogi's choice, option one, two, or three. Exhale, find downward facing dog. Inhale, two feet to hands. Halfway lift, hands to shins, pull that head away from the body. Exhale, beautiful forward fold, relax your head, reach with your fingertips. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Hands together. Exhale, down to your heart, good. First leg, inhale, knee up, hand to the knee, opposite hand up. Exhale, opening the knee. If you're feeling ready to advance, you could even hold onto the toes and extend the leg out. Inhale. Exhale from wherever you are, we're gonna point the toes and bring that foot onto the inside of the other leg. You're going to bring your toes either to the ground Toes onto the shin with the heel below the knee, or you can even lift that foot high up into the thigh. Whenever you feel like you found the spot where the, your foot belongs, raise that second hand to the sky. Tree pose. Inhale. 
Exhale, good, relax your shoulders. If you step out of the posture, just an opportunity to re-enter. If you have more of a challenge, you could even close your eyes. Find your breath. On your next exhale, knee forward. Inhale, raise that foot back up, either halfway or extend the leg out. Exhale, big step back. Find your crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale, stomach to thigh, hands down a little bit different here. You're gonna plant the hands all the way down. Inhale, play with pushing through the hands, pushing through your front foot. See if you can lift the foot a little bit or maybe a lot. Standing split. Exhale, back to crescent. Bend the front knee. Inhale. Look at which foot is in the front. That same hand is going to pull to the sky. Exhale, hand down. Inhale one more time, two hands up. This takes a lot of strength through the core of the body. Maybe you feel a bit of heat. And exhale, stomach to thighs, hands down. Step back, high plank to low. Inhale, option one, two, or three, yogi's choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, two feet forward, find halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to roll up to stand, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands together and down to heart center. Second side, inhale, knee up, up. grab that knee. Exhale to open opposite arm to the sky. You could stay right here or hold the toes for a little more intensity. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead, point your toes. Find that home for that foot on the leg. Being careful to avoid pressing heel into knee. And if you find that you're often stepping out of the pose, you can hold on to something, that's great. You can reinforce this tree by really pushing down through the foot that's still on the floor. And allow that foot that's pressing into the leg to really put a lot of pressure there. Finding just a moment of stillness. Let's take a deep breath in together. <sighs> Let it all out, beautiful. Inhale, exhale, drive that knee forward, keep it lifted. Opportunity to straighten out the leg only if you'd like. Exhale, big step back, crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale, stomach to thighs, hands down, play with lifting the back foot. Exhale, back to crescent. Inhale, whichever foot is in the front, raise that same hand all the way up to the sky. Exhale, down. And one for the core. Inhale, two hands all the way up, finding that heat, that energy through the body. And exhale, hands down. Big step back, high plank to low. Inhale. Options one, two, or three, yogi's choice. Exhale, knees down, slide the hips back. Child's pose. Malasana. Walk your hands to the right edge of your mat. Maybe left hand goes on top of right. And exhale, relax your head down.
Walk your hands to the left side. Slowing down with your breath here. Walk your hands back to center. Raise the hips. And slowly let's bring our feet in front. Coming to sit. Keep a nice bend in your knees. When we straighten out the legs, we use our back for full support. But when we bend the knees, we're able to divide our energy between the feet and the base of the body. Lift up your right hip and your left so that you're really feeling like you're on the, the very bottoms of your sit bones. And let's wrap our hands around our knees so that our back's not working so hard. Inhale to raise the chest up. I want you to hug into this shape. What I mean by that is let your hands close around the knees. Let the arms bend as you pull the chest forward. Maybe even tilt your head back if that feels good. And exhale, pull your belly button in towards your spine. Rounding the shoulders, relax your head down. And trusting those hands there, let your arms straighten out, still holding out to the knees. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Beginning with one hand, then the other, you're going to place your hands down to the mat. Push your hips forward. And slowly roll all the way down. Our last posture before taking rest is going to be a supine twist, but if there's anything that we're missing for your practice day, you're welcome to take it now. So this can be very gentle today. We're gonna to go back to those goal post arms. So making a bend at the elbows. We're gonna bring both knees over to the right hand side, let them fall. And just turn your head towards the left. Knees back up. Knees to the left side and head looks to the right. And back to center. A few options here. You can keep your feet on the mat if that feels good for your lower back, or you could extend legs out. Let your arms relax down onto the mat on each side of your body. Or if laying on your back is just not relaxing for you, you're also welcome to come up to sit. Whichever you're choosing as your final posture, let's take a deep breath in together. And exhale out. Another deep breath in. Exhale out. And one more time, deep breath in. Exhale out. Taking a few minutes to relax here. 
in Shavasana. back into your breath. You are more than welcome to stay here. And we can make these moments of calm just a little bit longer. The body and mind has a chance to heal, to connect. Be replenished by the energy within. If you're ready to return to your day, begin to move through your wrists. If you are seated, you can start to stretch through your neck. If you are laying on your mat, you can turn to one side. And from there, find your way up to sit. Any way that you're comfortable, legs do not need to be crossed. Bring our hands up to the sky. Holding one wrist, we'll pull over to the side. <sighs> We'll pull over to the second side. We'll open up our chest, pulling the shoulder blades together. And we'll join our hands together at heart center. From where the light in me sees the light in you, Thank you for practicing with me today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. If there's anything that felt really great or maybe something that you are looking for a modification for, I'd like to know that as well and that we can enhance the rest of your practice. Thank you. Have a beautiful day and keep making every second count.